Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a video on something you probably thought I'd never do a video on. And that is Bratz and Moxie. Now, I have talked about how I do not like the Bratz dolls. I've not talked about the Moxies much, mainly because I like the Moxie teen dolls, but they no longer make them. But I do not like the other Moxie dolls. But, um, I do like the boys. Now, there are not that many boys in either line. But I bought some of the boys from some of the lines that I actually do like. Me and my friend, we went to, um, Tina. Me and my friend Tina. We went to Toys R Us yesterday. And, um, some of the brat stalls in Moxie Teens. I mean, Moxie's, and even Moxie Team, right here in front of me, this one, were on clearance. Yeah, um, apparently, I think if I've heard correctly, Toys R Us will no longer be buying Bratz dolls. They will no longer be giving Bratz dolls, or selling Bratz dolls. So once their inventory of Bratz dolls are sold out, there will be no more Brat stalls in Toys R Us. And if Toys R Us is not willing to carry them, then that must mean the Brat stalls are not doing very well. That or either, maybe they have all their old stock on clearance, so maybe they can make way for some of the newer Brat stalls, because I have not seen any of the newer Brat stalls in Toys R Us except for Bratzilla's. And even those are on clearance. So, but, um, I bought two Bratz boys. I've got, and I bought two Moxie boys. This is, you know, one of the smaller Moxie boys. And this is the Moxie team boy that was for the prom night. That he doesn't have the changeable wig or anything. And they no longer make Moxie teen dolls. I don't know why. I actually liked that line. I don't know why they would quit making them. But he would be my second Moxie Teen boy. My second Moxie Teen. Period. Okay. Now the reason why I have them all clumped in together because if I'm correct, they are all, both lines are made by MGA. Now, um, this is Jackson and this is Cameron. I bought these two because they're supposed to help out a, a good cause for kids with cancer. Now, they are, um, hold on. <laughs> I, they're something for Hope dolls. I can tell you in just a second. But both of them came with bracelets. And this one's Cameron's. My friend Tina took off with Jackson's bracelet. But they are both True Hope campaign dolls for cancer. Yeah, can uh, Cameron. His letters all turned around. But they are all True True Hope dolls, and they are um. Bald. They have no hair, which I thought this was a a good a good thing because I mean I've been to school with some kids. There's been some kids in my school system who have had cancer before, and um, people in my family have had cancer. Cancer tends to run wild and rapidly, like a forest fire through my family, both sides, so eventually there is a chance that one day I could end up with cancer. There is a possibility, and it's a pretty good one at that. But, um, and I, if I'm correct, uh, proceed a part of the sales of these dolls, two dolls, go to helping to find a cure. But, um, I just thought they were really cute, they were really nice, and they stood for a good thing. Now, 
The one reason I don't like the Bratz balls, even though I like these and I like the boys, there's a reason why I don't like the Bratz dolls or the Moxies. For one, their size. I like a doll that's a little bit taller. Two, their jointing. They have stiff arms that, I mean, they can up and down and like that, but they have stiff arms. The head won't go back and forwards. So it just goes. Doo -doo. And they have the bendable Barbie legs. Kind of like Barbie legs, but they don't. They only go so far. But the one thing that throws me the most is, and people either like this or they hate this. It's either, it's kind of one of those, it's either, either or one of those extremes. They love it or they hate it. And that is the removable feet to change their shoes. I don't like that. I like for my dolls to have feet. If I want to change their shoes, then usually I just go get the shoes and put them on like a normal person because that makes them a little bit more realistic, the fact that they have feet. And I run around barefoot a lot. I do. I love running around barefoot. Most of my dolls are barefoot. So that's just right there. I just, that just throws me off. That's one of the main reasons why I don't like brats. It's because of that system. That and plus the girls' faces kind of look, um, very clownish with the big lips and stuff. I mean, I just don't like their facial features. But the boys do kind of look quite handsome. But, of course, they don't have the makeup painted on. They just have a plain, nice, neutral face. Which I like. Now, <clears throat> I also got this boy from the Masquerade series. And he is... Pen... P-E-N-N? -N? I don't know. I think that's his name. I don't know. But he's the vampire one. Er, and he's got his mask right there around his neck. He has the same foot system and leg system. I do like his hair. Boop. <clears throat> My friend Tina says it looks a lot like Adam Lambert. And I do have to agree. <laughs> but um, he's very nice. He's very He's a handsome doll. I like him. And he was on clearance. Because, yeah. They had the um, knight, which I did take a look and see what his character was. But they had the knight, and I was going to get him too, but I only had so much money. <laughs> and here is the Moxitane boy. Dun, 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 dun. Gavin. Introducing Gavin. He kind of looks like Zac Efron. I'm serious. He kind of looks like Zac Efron. I expect him to start dancing and singing at any moment now. But he's very handsome. He's got... He's got helmet hair right now. Horribly. He, of course, has the little secret tag on his butt, which is kind of awkward since he has a red dot on his butt. But whatever. It's... You know, they're at all. But he is fully arcu articulated. Like elbows, wrist, arms, hips, legs, um, ankle. And unlike the girls, I do not think he has... The girls have a jointing right uh, under their breasts. I don't think he has any kind of extra jointing in his hips or chest area. Hold on. Nope, no extra jointing in hips or chest area. Hey, well. But, um, he's still a very nice doll. He is tall, lovely, 
I like the outfit, even though they have not made, I don't think they've made any more outfits for this doll. So I might have to see if there is any on Etsy, but yeah. And he's blocking me. <laughs> but yeah, either way, the Moxie Teen dolls were really nice dolls. And I'm actually a little upset that they have discontinued them. Because I wanted more. I especially wanted some of the ones with the changeable wigs. Because now all the Moxie Teen wigs and clothes and stuff are on clearance. Eh. Then I can't buy the wigs because they're too big for live dolls. Eh. But still, nice dolls. And, um, now you know. But, oh, that and plus Cameron and Jackson here, they both came with a, a, a second outfit, which I thought was pretty neat. Yeah, that's awesome. Came with a second outfit. And they're for a good cause. And I like the boys. Usually, I tend... It doesn't matter how horrible the girls look. I tend to like the boys. I don't know why. But, um, they tend to look better. That and plus, the girls in the collections tend to outnumber the boys. So, yeah. Well, thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a great day. Bye.